Burly gang! How we doing, early gang? How we doing? Let me get everything queued up over here. I feel a little blurry. Do I look a little blurry? I feel blurry. I feel blurry in my heart of hearts. Go drop a live over in the um, Discord here. Birds. Live. What's up, my friends? Oh, my goodness. I'm a little tired. Somebody else tired? Is that a normal thing for hump day? Hump day. It's a Wednesday, friends. It's a Wednesday. From what I understand, we have several people who are not going to be here on time tonight. We've got a bunch of folks that are going to be running a bit behind. Which is fine, of course. Of course, of course, it's just fine. We do have some fun things to open. I got one of those little Stay Puffed, those little Stay Puffed surprise, surprises from the Walmart. We'll try that. Let's see which one we get. There are six options. Let's see which one we get. And then uh, they were also on clearance. They had these uh, Q figs. So I got one of uh, Ghost Spider there. That should be fun. Let's try it. We'll see open it, uh, how this looks and why it was on clearance. I hope it's not like missing an arm or something. Not a toy. Caution. This toy of Gwen Stacy is not a toy. Also caution. Known to cause joy in humans. But it's not a toy. Not the joy that you'll receive from playing with this with this decorative is not from playing with a toy. Understand this. Not a toy. It sounds almost defensive. <laughs> Don't you think it sounds a little defensive? Caution. This is not a toy, okay? Okay, Jessica, it's not a toy. It's an action figure, Jessica. The vibe I'm picking up there. Oh, caught a vibe. Baby. What is this? What's the next word? Caught a vibe. Baby, I live in a night. What are the words? Does anybody know the lyrics? Okay. Lyrics. Hang on. Oh. Uh, hang on. There's no way that's what it says. Copped a bag at the Westin? There's there's literally no that there's no way that's what it says. Okay, yeah, this is not the right song. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, there's no way. I was like, uh-uh. At our spot. At our spot by Willow. Caught a vibe is also a song. So this is Meet Me at Our Spot. Hang on, here we go. I was about to say, I was like, there's no way, even with that. Yeah. Are you coming for the ride? There we go. Caught a vibe! Baby, are you coming for the ride? The ride, the ride. I just wanna look into your eyes. I just wanna date for the night. Night. We need a drive. <laughs> that song is blessed by a live performance. If you guys have heard the studio performance of that song. Not as good. Not as good, no. Not quite there. Not quite about it. At least not as much as the others. The others. We're going to be playing a bit of a different game tonight. We've had a member of our community, Xanda, who's recommended Wingspan a couple times. And uh, it should be a good time. It's on PC, which is fun. I think it's also on Switch, which is amazing. Um, we're going to try it. I like birds. Fun fact, I always wanted a cockatiel. And I almost got one. I came really close to adopting a cockatiel in college. But somehow, my wife convinced me otherwise. It turns out that a cockatiel lives a real long time. Do you know that? Lives a real long time. And uh, yeah, she was not interested in having a bird. I grew up with birds. Um, we grew up with two parakeets. There was a yellow one named Joy Song, and there was a green one named Gizmo, as in gremlins. And uh, 
Yeah, they were delightful. We also went through many a hamster. Hamsters, coincidentally, do not live as long. Are you aware of this? <laughs> hamsters, on the other hand, not quite as resilient, we might say. Yeah, we had we had hamsters, we had bunnies. Our bunnies ate ate their children, which was unfortunate. Stressful. They were stressed. They were stressed out. I was too young to help them. I didn't realize they were a member of Twenty One Pilots. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna unbox. First off, we're gonna unbox Gwen Stacy here. I want to see what's I want to see what's going on here. So here's this box of Ghost Spider. It was on clearance. That's the only reason I picked it up. It contains unlimited happiness. Do I look happy? It's unlimited. Once I open this box, oh, this frown, turn it upside down. Um, I'm assuming this is the picture of what's going to be inside. The characters you want and the stories you love. I'm sure that people are beating down the doors for Ghost Spider. And then this side is very curious because this is where it says caution. Caution. Hang on. Let's see if I can get it up on the screen. Not a toy, which I, I still think sounds defensive. I think if you have to say it's not a toy, that means it might be a toy. Okay. So it's straight up, it's just velcro which is a weird way of packaging something. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to look like right there. I'm not, I'm not expecting anything much more than that. Oh, again, caution. Known to cause joy. They like this. Whoever is their graphic designer was like, did you, uh, did you remember? Hey, hey, Jerry, did you remember to include the known to cause joy in humans? I worked pretty hard on that, Jerry. You need to include that one. I did. Hey, thanks for the follow, arbitrary bitwise operators. Appreciate the follow. Here we go. Let's see what's in here, huh? You didn't know you were coming for an unboxing stream. Me neither. This was a surprise. All right, let's see. Ooh, much smaller than I'd anticipated. Much smaller. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's give this. Let's give this bad boy a look here. That girl. I think that is to say. Um. Okay. Oh, she's spelling out ghost. <laughs> That's pretty cool. She's spelling out ghost with a web. Got the little music notes here bouncing around. Got some destroyed bricks. She's on a chimney. It looks like she might have tinkled just a bit. And uh, and yeah, she's got her green slippers on, listening to some music. A music note is even attached to her headphone. That's pretty fun. Yeah, it looks great. I wonder why it was on clearance. For what reason was this on clearance? This is an adult collectible. If you're a child, return this. <laughs> if you are under the age of 18, return this item. It is not meant to be in your hands. There we go. Thanks for the follow. They're all dancing for you there. Adult collectible not intended for use by children. They're really hammering down this point. Please, children, do not touch this toy. Neat. I like the attention to detail. Everything looks pretty good. Still not sure about the blue gunk. I believe it's supposed to be water, as you can tell by this little droplet. Hang on, let's see if I can get that in focus. You can tell by this little droplet. For some reason, the faucet is leaky. It's pretty rad, right? I like the ghost look. The ghost writing is maybe my favorite part. What the deal? Yeah. So pretty fun. Or just unboxing something that I found at Walmart today on clearance. You guys know I have a problem. I have a problem with collectibles, and I thought that she was I thought that she was nice. I also bought a Stay Puffed collectible marshmallow man. So we're gonna find out who's inside here. There's six options. Unless there's like an elusive option as well. Let's see. These are the six uh, These are the six options here. I want the Umbrella Boy is the one that I want. So I'll buy every one the Walmart has until I find it. Got the Ghostbusters logo on top. Is that putty? I don't think so. I think it's just a, um, I hope it's not putty. I'm really not wanting putty. <laughs> I really don't, really don't want putty. Let's see if this says not for children. Oh no, it might be putty. It's a compound. What does compound mean? Did I buy putty? Thoughts on Femboys? That's, oh my. You're asking big questions, huh? Maybe get to know us first. Oh, 
All I know is that this is disgusting. <laughs> what the heck is this? It reeks. It's glue. <laughs> oh no! This is not what I anticipated. I need to wash my hands. This is not, this was not the plan. Uh, no, this is disgusting. There's something in here that I desperately want. I want the figurine. The figurine is in here as well. I want the figurine. I'm gonna get a paper towel. It's gotta be the shape of one of those little guys. Oh, this is disgusting. This was not a part of the plan. I wanna answer arbitrary bitwise operators question. One of the things, so I'm not gonna answer your question directly because I think that's a little bit of a, of a, of a loaded question that feels a little not intended to be eaten, by the way. Um, a little bit of a baited question. But what I am gonna say is that Checkpoint Church has three things we believe to be true. We believe that God loves you, we love you, and that you matter. So no, ma no matter who you are or who you identify as or what you believe or the way you live, we still believe that God loves you, we love you, and you matter. You are homie, homie of sexual. So that's our, that's our root of our belief there, is that regardless, we believe that God loves you, we, want you we, we love you, we want community with you, and that you matter no matter what. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to answer your question about are they a sin. I don't really want to weigh on on that heavy topic. And your account was created 33 minutes ago. But if you are a real person, which you might not be, we shall handle you. <laughs> You're a fake person, Hollow Shell. Well, I'm very sorry. God loves you. We love you, Madder, nonetheless. Fake or real? I'm going to take. All right, I'm going to go get a paper towel. I want. I want this toy. I want this toy, but this is disgusting. Hang on, I can squeeze it out. I can squeeze it out. We got it. We got it, easy peasy. Oh my gosh, this is gross! It's just straight up Elmer's, you guys. It's straight up Elmer's glue. Why? Ah, oh, it's so nasty, dude! I'm disgusting. Ah, I need paper towel! I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine for a second, a person, a parent, buying this for their child, assuming it was gonna be an adorable little collectible, only to discover, oh, this didn't work at all! This didn't work at all. It's now all glued to the paper. Oh no, oh no. This went so south, so fast. My shirt is covered in glue. Oh my goodness. This is a nightmare. This is my actual nightmare right here. Big fans of the golden rule. This is insane. How did you guys know it was putty? I mean, it's straight up Elmer's glue. Yes, opening this in the car on the ride home. That's what I'm saying. Imagine for a moment a parent. Oh, it's everywhere. A parent. Buying this for their child. I've got it by the handle now. You love Elmer's glue? All right. Let's break into this bad boy. Well, I'm definitely not keeping the canister. Yes! All right, we got him out without too much more turmoil. So you know what I thought it was this entire time? Yeah, I'm gonna say that's 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 a couple strikes, my friend. That's not a homeo. Ah, that's probably three strikes. Arbitrary, we might we might have to we might have to say goodbye for now. With a with a new account and uh we believe in doing no harm to the members of the chat for sure. Calling names would quantify as those. And then also pretty grotesque language. Weesh, do you have that capability as a moderator? Yeah. 
or out of sense. There we go. Yeah. Hey, here's the thing, you guys. You know what? We've been around. We've been around since when? We've been around since August of 2020. August of 2020. That's that's a year and five months. That's 17 months, and that was our first troll. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll take it. I will take it. Now, what I wasn't expecting was to be extremely distracted by glue, by Elmer's glue. That was certainly not my anticipation. Anyway, here's the little guy I got. He does not have an umbrella. It is the uh, Bugs Bunny inflating himself classic. It looks like he's not been completely painted. His like eyes are matted shut. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It looks like you banned him. I think we're all good. Yeah, probably once we saw his account was made 33 minutes ago. That was probably the tip off. Well, neat. It's been an exciting night for all, huh? To completely change the line of thought, I'm very excited to tell you all that I have some Russian tea to drink tonight. I made a fresh batch of Russian tea. He is indeed inflating himself, Bugs Bunny style. It won't focus though, he's almost too small. See, he's like, it's like blinding, dude. I don't even know how to. Oh, this is tough. Yeah, it's like the lighting. He's so blindingly pale. <laughs> he's doing the like, where he like inflates himself, you know? He's doing that kind of thing. Cute. I like the, uh, I like the ghost spider more. Ghost spider is definitely better. All right. We're gonna play some Wingspan. Uh, I gotta learn how to play this game first before we even really get started. And I'm hoping that it does the uh, the good old tutorial. I don't know if this game has music, but I'm gonna pause Spotify just in case. Just in the thought that it probably does. And I'm gonna go to game capture real quick. Capture Wingspan. So we should be good. All right, you guys should be able to see it. Okay, so there is an online. I'm gonna hope that play just takes me to, to tutorial. There we go, tutorial. All right, I gotta learn how to play this game. So I do love birds. Oh, another bird enthusiast. You're new to Wingspan? I'll show you around. I'm Robin, by the way. I'm a guardian of this wildlife preserve. As you probably noticed, this place is all about birds, but also about winning. To win the game, you have to get the most victory points, which are feathers. One way to do that is by playing birds. Before we start, you should get familiar with the structure of the game. They need to make a birds aren't real version of this game where they're all cameras. This is the start your turn pop-up. Wingspan has played over four rounds. Right now, it's your first turn of the first round. In the first round, you take eight turns. Each turn is marked by an action cube. In, this, in each round, you have one fewer action cube, and so one fewer turns to take. On the right side of the screen, you can see how many action cube turns you have left this round. And those are the end of round tiles, but don't worry about them right now. Now I'll show you what you can do each turn. Click anywhere to continue. First, you need to know how to navigate the habitats of your preserve. Wait, is this Pokemon with birds? I know nothing, Bleach. I know literally nothing except for the tutorial that I watched online. Uh, but that would be a question for Zando. Zando was the one that made tonight's recommendation. Look at the left side of the screen. These are the habitats, okay? We are in the forest now. In the forest, you can gain food. Now, check out what you can do in the grassland. Just click the grassland. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mark. In grassland, you can lay eggs. Eggs are useful for playing birds. You can also score one feather for each egg you have left in your preserve at the end of the game. Now check out that wetland. Just click the wetland icon. This is where you draw more bird cards. For now, you have some cards in your player setup. I feel like I'm covered in Elmer's Uh Now, let me show you the most important part of this game. Birds! These are the birds in your hand. The bird in the hand. It's worth two in the bush. That's what I hear. 
Thanks, Bleach. Now look closely at the structure of the Carolina Chickadee card. Gain one, one wheat from the supply and cash it on this card. We actually should just add all of uh, all the terms that you sent to maybe 30 bats from ago. I still haven't done that. All right. Here you have habitat symbols which show you where the bird can be played. The Carolina chickadee, for example, can only be played in the forest. Okay, got it. Here's the Carolina chickadee's food cost. It costs either a worm or a wheat. It means that you can either spend a seed or an invertebrate. Okay. I thought you did. Somebody got in trouble for saying chump earlier this week. I thought that was on my list. Uh, I have no idea. I don't think I added them. I do not recall adding them. Who recommended this game? Wing or uh, Wingspan is recommended by Zando. Who is laying his children down and then I believe will be here. The number next to that feather symbol is the bird's point value. Having this bird in your preserve gives you this many points at the end of the game. Take some time to add the blacklist soon. That'd be awesome. Here's the Carolina Chickadee's nest icon. There are five types of nests. Carolina Chickadee has a cavity nest. The other nest types are platform, ground, bowl, and wild. What's up, stained glass, by the way? Welcome, welcome. Nests are used by some birds' powers, bonus cards, and in the end of round goals. I'll explain in detail later how these are used. Oh, wild nests can be powerful because they can match with any other nest type. Try to remember that. Here is the bird's wingspan. 20 centimeters. Ah, the name of the game. Bow! Wingspan is used by some birds' powers and bonus cards. You'll notice when you need them. Gain one seed from the supply and cash it on this card. Here's the most important thing. The bird's special powers. You play the game, you'll see the birds have a wide variety of powers. There are three types of powers when activated, when played, and once between turns. Uh, the Carolina Chickadee has a when activated power. I'll explain all three types during our playthrough. Finally, at the bottom of the card, you have egg slots. This is where you lay eggs. Each bird has a limited capacity for holding eggs. Now I'll teach you how to play a bird. Go to the tree spot so you can gain food for the Carolina Chickadee. Got it. First, you need to gain food for your bird. Got it. The panel on the right shows you how much food you have. Currently, you have no food. Got it. To play the Carolina Chickadee, you need food. Look at the bird feeder here. The dice show which food is currently available. Inside the bird feeder are all these. The leftmost exposed slot shows you how much food you can take. For now, you can take only one. In order to gain food, you need to activate this habitat. The leftmost exposed slot will activate a habitat on it. Click on it, always easy. Okay, you remember the cube? Cube will appear to mark your first turn. This marks the activated slot. You move from your action panel to mark the leftmost exposed slot. On the left, the tree icon reminds you that they activated that you activated the gain food action. So choose what you want, click on the die you need. Oh, click on the yeah, 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 got it. By clicking this, you'll confirm your action. Confirm. Ah. Can you see the reverse symbol? Yes. It means that the action you're about to do can't be undone. Anytime you see that, think twice before you react. When you click on that, you'll go back to your turn panel. Okay. You need blank to play it. Yes, please confirm. Confirmed. Yeah, chickadee. That was your first turn of wingspan. Let's start the second one. Okay, so I still don't get to play it. Your cube from the first turn flew to the left and marked that you took the gain food action. Now you have enough food to play the Carolina chickadee. I do, I do. Remember that the Carolina chickadee's food cost says it needs one worm or one whatever. To play a bird, you need to cover its food cost, which means you need to pay for it. Got it. Play the Carolina chickadee by clicking on it. Got it. Chickadee has been played. Has moved beneath the picture of the Carolina Chickadee now, again marking your turn. Understood. On the left, the wind icon reminds you that you chose play a bird. Got it. Look at this panel. Can do. <laughs> you didn't really need to say that. Uh, this is the cost of the bird you want to play, the same one printed on the card, and this is the suggested payment. If you add more food, you can change the type of food you want, but we won't do that for now. Clicking blank confirms your action. Uh, remember that this, yes, I know. Uh, that was, you said that moments ago. Yes, you don't have to say these things. You really don't have to say these things. I totally, 100% completely lost and don't understand. We're, we're playing birds. Let's start the next turn. You got it. Your action cube from the second turn flew to left. That feels irrelevant. We don't need to say that part is the thing. Okay. Blue Jay is the next bird you'll want to play. Before you can do that, you need to collect food, pay for it. Got it. Look at the Blue Jay. Okay. It's, it's uh, It looks like a trivia pursuit and a, and a seed. I need Trivia Pursuit and a, and a seed. You can now cover the Trivia Pursuit and the food cost 
with any food item. Okay, it's like a wild one. The plus sign means you need to spend seed. So I need seed and anything else. Look again at the bird feeder. Inside it are all these things. Do you remember how to gain food? Uh, I do. The leftmost slot will activate a habitat. Uh, blank will appear to mark your third turn. Because you played the Carolina Chickadee, you gain food, action, improve. Click on the left mode. Yes. You asked if I remembered and then told me. Blank is in the second slot because the first slot is occupied by the Carolina Chickadee. Understood. You will get one blank, but you can get more. Got it. Activating the second slot in the habitat means that you can take one food from the bird feeder. And the symbol blah blah in the slot means that if you want, you can discard one card from your hand and get one more cube. To play the blue jay, you need seed and any food item. Take the die with this symbol. You got it. You can choose whether to take blank or blank. We need blanks. Choose that option. Now click blank to exchange one card from your hand. Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna... Bye 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 bald eagle. Bye bye bald eagle. Goodbye. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Oh, I see. I gotta click this thing. Then click the bald eagle to exchange. Understood. And click this to confirm. Now you can take one more. Got it. Did I? Okay. Before you do that, look here. All right. I'm looking. These are the blank outside of the bird feeder. There are five. Each die that is taken out is marked here. When playing, you may encounter birds that use this information. Understood. Uh, now take this food. Okay. And then confirm my action. Can you see that the blank moved to the Carolina Chickadee slot? Yes! Blank always moves to the left and activates all birds with a when activated power. Ah! So you activated this, gained food, but it's not the end of your turn. Since blank is now the Carolina Chickadee, it's time for you to activate. When activated powers are the most common in the game. All birds when it, with a when activated power give you an extra action each time you activate the habitat that bird inhabits. All of your bird powers are optional. It means you don't have to activate them if you want to. We won't skip this power up. I'll show you how it works. Every time you gain food, you get it. Got it. Got it. Got it. You got it. Got it. Yeah, I got it. You got it. Okay. I thought I had to click it, but I didn't. Five turns left. Nice. Last turn, you cash food on the Carolina Chickadee. Each uh, cash food is worth one. The amount of food a bird is cashed is marked with the bird card. So let's quickly... <laughs> oh, my goodness. It is on Switch, I do believe. Let's quickly sum up what gave you the points so far. You get points for played birds, laid eggs, and cash food. Understood. Remember how I told you you need, to, uh, need eggs? I do. You spend eggs to play birds starting from the second slot. Look at the slots. You see the egg? Yeah, I do. They indicate how many eggs you need in order to play a bird in this slot. This cost is in addition to the bird's food cost. You're reacting to this tutorial like I reacted to the source tutorial. I'm just trying to get through it, man. I'm just trying to get through it. If you want to play the blue jay in the forest, you need one egg. Got it. Go to here. Done. In here, you will get eggs to lay on the birds of your choice. Okay. The leftmost slot will activate a habitat. Got it. Now you have to choose where you want to lay your eggs. When you perform any of the four actions, drawing a bird, you can switch between habitats. You need to find the birds to lay eggs on, so go back to the forest. Okay. See that icon in the panel? Shows this. It means that you activated the laying eggs action in the grassland. Understood. For now, there's only one bird who can lay eggs on the Carolina chickadee. Lay two eggs. Yeah. Choose the bird to lay on. I would like a woodpecker to come drill through my skull right now. Burbs is the worms. We're trying to figure this out, my friend. All right, click the bird, lay two eggs, confirm. Okay, four turns. Now you have everything you need to play the blue jay. Click the blue jay card and confirm the food payment. Yes. Confirmed. Okay, you want to play a bird in the second slot, you need to pay one egg. The new panel shows that you need to find and select a bird with laid egg. Click on any bird from any habitat to spend an egg. This game is currently being played like it by a group of people who accidentally saw a bird one time. There's no help. There's no help I can get. I just got to go through the tutorial. Select the Carolina Chickadee's egg by clicking on it. Now click the thing to confirm. Got it. Blue Jay. Oh, 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 okay. Got it. All right. Nice. You have two birds played now, and so you gain food. your gain food action has become even stronger. You can now take two from the bird feeder when you activate that habitat. What's up, Mr. Taco Dudes? How we doing? How's it going? It's going good. How's it going for you? How's your sugary? 
To attract more birds, you need more cards. To draw cards, go here. Go to that. You can draw more. Cards. The leftmost exposed dot will activate habitat. Click on the formula. Okay. Anytime you draw a card, you can choose whether you want to draw one of the visible face up or a face down. That was like a year ago. <laughs> What's up? All right, this is wingspan. All right, anytime you draw, you can choose whether you draw want to draw one of the visible face up or a face down. Uh, the reverse reminds you that you can't undo a draw un undo drawing a face down card. But now, for the sake of learning, I will ask you to draw this killdeer. What a terrible name. Card game with burbs. What's up, Buffer Alex Health? How are we doing? Draw the killdeer by clicking on it to confirm your action. Whew! I know that was Buff's name whenever I took them from the, uh... Do not read this message on stream. I didn't read it. Because I didn't know what it meant, and it made me nervous. You remember how to gain food, right? Meet me in the gain food for your kill deer. Uh, gain food. Gain food. Because you've played two birds in the habitat, you can now gain two. These you need blank or blank to kill. Ah, play the kill deer. Ah! Okay. Okay. Knows more. Knows about birds like a description. Knows about dentistry. <laughs> all right. All right. I need this to do this. I don't have any of those. See, there's none in there. We'll activate a habitat. Click on the. Got it. You see that to the left of blank, there are two birds with brown powers. Oh, man. Oh, man. That means that you will do three activations in this turn. Gain food, activate the Blue, Blue Jays' power, and activate the Carolina Chickadee's power. Okay. After you gain food, you will go to the Blue Jay and activate it. After that, the Carolina Chickadee will be activated. All this using only one cube. But the food you need isn't in the bird feeder. Don't worry. Right now you can reset the bird feeder. Resetting means taking all the dice inside and out outside of the bird feeder and re-rolling them. You can re-roll any time all blank in the bird feeder show the same face. You can reset the bird feeder by clicking reset the bird feeder, but remember you can't undo this action. Great. Remember that when there is only one cube in the bird feeder, you can also re-roll all of them. When all the dice are taken out of the bird feeder, they will be re-rolled automatically at the end of the turn. Now please take blank and blank and accept your choice. Done. It's not that it's confusing. I feel like it's just a lot at once. It's a very high barrier of entry. But I feel like once I get it, it's all going to make sense. Because at the end of the day, there's only four things you can really do. The Blue Jays' power is similar to the Carolina Chickadees that can cash food. But the Blue Jays' power lets you choose between cashing or taking it for yourself. Okay. Unlike the Carolina Chickadee, the Blue Jay takes the, the thing directly from the bird feeder. That's because Blue Jays are mean. <laughs> At what level do they introduce the recipe for roasting these things? Roasted Blue Jay. It sounds gamey. Uh, since there's no blank in the bird feeder, you can't use the bird's power. Fortunately, there's plenty of blankets on the bird feeder. Here, you can choose the die you want to take an order of cash or take blank for yourself. You can also skip. I don't want to skip the cash. For now, take it. Oh. It's like the take option. Okay. All right. Now you can activate the Carolina Chickadee's power or choose to skip it this time. I'm, I'm going to do it. All right. One turn left. Out of four rounds. We're 25% of the way there, friends. Look at your last turn this round. All right. Before you finish, let me show you your opponent. Why is it dot, dot, dot? Wingspan World Championship. This is your opponent. And this is you. I am the girl. I want to be the cat! You can take a look at their habitats. To take a peek at the opponent's habitats, you need to click on their portrait. Just let me do it. Click on the opponent's portrait. I've laid eggs. <laughs> Cats don't lay eggs! This guy has a predator! It's a barred owl. His barred owl will hunt each time your opponent activates a bird. Uh, if it succeeds, the bird card will be tucked under his predator. Every tucked card is worth one feather. Later, we'll try to use this power for our benefit. All right, let's go back to your preserve and finish the first round. To go back, click your portrait. Now we have enough food to play our kill deer. Look at the habitats that the kill deer can be played in. The wetlands or the grasslands. You can choose either one. For now, I would like you to play the kill deer in the wetlands. Understood. Remember how you played birds before? Yeah. First, click the kill deer card. Just let me do it. I wish you'd let me do it. 
confirm. There's too many buttons. But I did it. I did it! Yay! I am the wiener! And this was your first round. These are the end of round goals. Each round has a randomly chosen task you can fill to gain extra feathers. Remember how you played birds before? <laughs> like four hours. Actually, it really wasn't that long ago, and that's kind of the problem. I wish she would stop asking. If you don't meet any requirements at all, you get zero. If you and your opponent tie, the points go. Okay, I don't need to know about points. It's fine. To learn what each end of round goal hover the curve. Yeah, okay. Got it, 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 got it. Why is it down here now? Okay, got it, got it, got it. You weren't going to go until I hovered. All right. Count the total number of birds you have currently in this specific habitat row. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Let's summarize what you've learned so far. Well, now I skipped things. Now I'm never going to understand. You took eight turns in the first round. Yes. You learned how to do this. I learned how to do this. I learned all of this. Yes. You know I have opponent. Yes, I do. And yeah, now I can show you more advanced stuff. Ah! So first turn of round two. Okay. Remember the second round is seven turns. You got it. Close the screen. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> This tutorial's driving me crazy! You do it! Kill deer in the wetlands is not the best. I always put kill deer in the grass. Well, this this girl says no. Alright. I want to show you something important about drawing cards, but to do that you need more eggs. Go to the this this to lay eggs. Leftmost will activate. Click on it. Got it. Now find and choose a bird or birds that you want to lay eggs on and confirm this action. I want to lay eggs on this bird. I want to confirm that. This tutorial is precisely why you played Minecraft last week after writing so much. That's exactly it. I killed deer's grass type. <laughs> I've laid eggs. I've laid eggs over here. Uh, he reminds me of Ringo for some reason. Maybe it's because of the Beatles documentary right now. Let's go to the water and draw some birds. You got it. Oh, the cards have changed. Each round after all, uh, all the face up will be replaced by new ones. Level intensity in this calm woodland and bird song is insane. I'm intense. Remember, if you want a specific card and this round is coming to an end, you'll lose the opportunity to draw what you wanted in the next round. Got it. Because you have a kill deer that covers the first slot, you will you can activate water and use the egg to card change in the second slot. Let's make use of this exchange. Left mode, let's, let's do it. Now on the panel, click the this to exchange. Now switch between habitats to find a bird uh, with the egg laid on it so you can spend it to draw one additional card, then accept the exchange. You don't need three eggs. Exchange. I need one of these. Choose two face-up cards and accept your decision. Draw two new bonus cards and keep one. Roll all dice, not a bird feeder. If any are fish, gain one fish and cash it. I like, tuck a blank behind your hand behind this card. If you do draw one card, I like the barn swallow and the egret. It's a tutorial, it don't matter. Now activate a kill deer, discard one and draw two. Done. Switch between habitats to find another bird with an egg on it so you can spend it for an additional two cards. <laughs> Got it. Take the last face up. As you probably noticed, the new face up haven't been replaced yet, right? It replaced me finish this turn, right? Look at the face down card with blank. If you draw a face down card, it's fine. It's fine. I, I'll take it. It's fine. Draw one face down and accept your decision. <laughs> Don't tell me to accept my decision. <laughs> Oh, this sounds more and more like inscription. All right. All right, I got all the birds. All the birds are mine. Okay, click to start my turn. I played a bird, morning dove in my forest. The leftmost exposed slot will activate a habitat. Take the bird, take the, take the worm. Understood. Took the worm. Cause there's only one, it's cause there's only one blank in the bird feeder. You can blank all five dice. Roll them as you need another blank to play Bell's Burio. Okay. Well, that didn't turn out well. There's no blank for your Bell's Burio. There's a way. Whenever you play a bird, you can spend any two food items as if they were one of another item. Take whichever food item you want and confirm your decision. Well, I'll take one of, one of each of these. Oh, it's gotta be two of the same? If it's gotta be two of the same, sure. I don't understand. I don't understand. Now, take this using the Blue Jays' power. You can activate the Carolina Chickadee. 
I have no idea what's going on anymore. I've totally lost it. To play the Bells Vireo in the forest, you need eggs. You don't have birds in the grass, or whatever that is. And the first, so I can clarify it, sure. Sure. We can try that. But I'm real confused. Let's see, I gotta go set everything up. Hang on. <coughs> All right, we'll see if this will work, Zando. I'm in there. I think, yeah, you have access to the secret room, right? Hello. All right, I can hear you. I think they can hear you if I can hear you. Cool. I'm, so I'm incredibly lost. With a little bit of a delay, so ask your questions, and I will help out the best I can. I feel like at this point, my biggest question is, how long is this tutorial, and can I just go through it? You don't have birds in uh, this area. I think the tutorial is, is legit, like, at least half an hour or 45 minutes long. I had to play through it for, for an achievement, and it took a very long time. Let's see. Wish says, mute stream on your end, and it'll be no lag. Notice the blank next to your food payment. Means the food you have doesn't match the bird's food cost. But you can still confirm this payment because of the two-to-one rule. Confirm your action. These are bonus cards. Oh, there are bonus cards, Zando. Why are there bonus mm -hmm. cards? There are a bunch of different ways that you can score points at the end of the game, and bonus cards is, is just an extra goal for you to uh, As you're starting, you can ignore them, but uh, as you're starting to get a handle on the game, you want to start paying attention to those, because those will definitely help you win. Oh, my goodness. There's so many things. It's true. All right, I'm upping your volume a little bit. Chat, let me know okay. if, if Zando is too loud or too quiet. This dude is the Professor Oak of Birds. Would you define yourself as the <laughs> Professor Oak of Birds, Zando? I suppose. Keep one of them, but you have to discard the other. More feathers if you fulfill the requirements. No punishment for failing to do it. Look at the nest box builder. This is where nests come in handy. To have a better view of your cards while choosing cards, you can hide this interface. Just click the arrow at the bottom screen. The screen. I'm fine. I don't need that. I don't need it. Okay. You can move the other habitats to help decide which card's better for you. Go to the forest. Put on the up arrow. Just play the interface again. Got it. Choose one bonus card. We will play the black vulture in the forest later, so I would advise taking the forester bonus card. Choose a blank by clicking on it and confirming your choice. And if you'll notice at the bottom, underneath where you, like on the nest box builder, the one that says like four and seven, there's an extra little spot down there that says how many cards you currently have and how many points you would have if you were to take that card. I have no idea where you're referring to right now. Okay, now I'll, I'll show you next chance I get. Okay, once between so turns. As you, can, as you can highlight your cards down at the bottom, you should be able to, I think, unless it's going to make you... Yeah, you're in the middle of this, never mind. Because of once between turns power, you can activate once between turns power only when your opponent does something specified in the power description. When another player's death bird succeeds, gain one die from the bird feeder. He activated only once, so he's got the barred owl thing, so it's probably going to succeed. You have enough eggs so you can play the back vulture in here. Do I have to actually go through and select them again? No, I do not. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. All right, black vulture is played. Two rounds left. Two turns left. Round two of four. Now that you played your black vulture, you can make use of your opponent's successful hunts. The opponent gained food and activated their death bird, the barred owl. I know it's supposed to be writing with pencil and paper, but it sounds like a dog panting every time she talks. <laughs> I totally hear that. All right, there's no moves on the panel because this power is once between turns power. That was successful, so you can now take one die from the bird view. This one. Okay. I want to show you one last thing before we finish this tutorial, so go to one last thing before the tutorial's done. Awesome. The leftmost exposed slot will activate habitat. Done. Now I'd like you to click here. Done. You can now spend one food that you have to lay one additional egg. When you do this, confirm your decision. Choose a food to discard this one. Now I'll lay three birds, three eggs on your birds you want and confirm your actions. One here, and I'm gonna lay one here, one here. Spread them out and diversify my eggs. Not all my eggs in one basket. Out. Still one turn in this round, but I think I've taught you all I know. Wow, Robin's done, dude. Robin has never played <laughs> round three or four. Let's sum up what you can know, what you can do. In your turn, you can play birds, gain food, lay eggs, and draw cards. Stain glasses out? We're almost done with the tutorial, Stain. 
During your playthrough, Almost you can check there. the current end of round goals score and your overall score. To check your score, click on the end of round goals in the upper right corner of the screen. First, you can see how many points you and your opponent already scored in all the end of round goals. At the bottom, you have points for birds, bonus cards, end of round goals. Oh, he's driving. All good. Cash food and tucked cards. This is your current total score. I can only imagine if I was driving trying to understand what in the world's going on. Definitely not good to be driving and bird watching. At the no, same time. not advised. If you're not sure what a certain button or symbol means, you can click question mark in the upper left corner of the screen. If you want to disable these explanations, just click question mark again and close the screen by clicking out. There it is. All right, there's one final thing you can do. I thought you didn't know anything else, Robin. At any time, you can access a general overview of your habitats. Press this or this to enable the overview. I'm not using my keyboard. The overview displays all your habitats and birds. You can also see which birds are available to you in the wetlands and what food is currently inside the bird feeder. To use the over or to close the overview, just press again. Yeah, this overview is kind of what the actual board game looks like. Awesome. You can finish the remaining rounds now if you want. I hope you will successfully attract many birds to your habitat. Good luck playing wings. All right. Do I finish the tutorial or do I go to the main screen? I think, I mean, if you want the, the uh, achievement, I think you need to finish playing. But right, if you don't care about far. that, then let's We've come this far. We might as well. All right, so what do I want? I want the total number of birds with a specific nest type. Yeah, so that means oh. uh, at the end of this round, you will get a point for every one bird that has with that egg or that nest type that has at least one egg. Okay, well, it has one egg, but I think that's the only bull bird that I have. Do wilds count? Yes, wilds count. Okay, well then I, I should lay my wild birds. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what any of the things do though. But I want to I want to lay this other wild bird, and then I also have birds that can only live in the forest. I get extra things. But mm -hmm. I don't have any other birds that can only live in the forest. I want to play my barn swallow. Perfect. So and you I can play that either in the wetlands or grass. Okay, I'm in the wetlands, right? Yeah. And I need I need an egg. <laughs> Barn so if you go, if you go up to the forest, you can uh, oh. you could have left that egg in your uh, wild nest, and that would have counted. Oh, because it was also a wild. Oh, shoot. I should have gone to another one. Okay. I see. Six turns left. All right, click the start turn. I've laid eggs. Right, but I have new birds now, right? There's new birds down. If you go down to the bottom habitat, you can see what you can draw. All right. So... I'm gonna lay this. Oh, I don't have enough food to play the e grid. I need more bird. So how do I draw more cards? So you draw more cards by clicking that uh, that spot next to the kill deer, and that'll let you draw more cards. So I gotta go get more food up here. Mm -hmm. I have I have worm. I have I have fish. But I don't. How do I? Uh... You don't currently have any food. That's why that it's also zero on the side. So I want the fish. And I want okay. This. So take the fish. And then re-roll instead of taking that cherry. Oh. Click that cherry oh, on top oh. again, real quick. It's too late. Okay. Far too gone. Sorry. Still right. watching with a with a half second it. delay. <laughs> in one of these, if available, you may cash on this card. There are none available, but I can re-roll. There is one available. Should I take it or should I cash it? Uh, for th for the game right now, just take it. You can't. So you get points for every bit of food that you have cashed at the end of the game, which sometimes is a strategy. I very rarely use it, but it could doesn't hurt. Now I have food, so I can play the egret. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. Why can't I play the... Oh, there we go. Because it's not your turn right now. Understood. Oh. If you look at the, the little hourglass underneath the fox. Understood. Shows you it's their turn. Now it's my turn. Now I can play mm -hmm. the egret. Change. No. Correct. Wait, I didn't want... No. Yes, I want this. No, what? No. No, I want this. I want the, I want the fish. Oh. Yeah, so I click off of the cherry. How do I restart? I just want to do it again. Let me do it again. Try clicking that, um, the back button in the bottom left. Aha! Yes, okay. Yes, I had the right food. I just got happy clicking. Yeah. Right. So you can just, yeah, click that green arrow instead of change. All the eggs in the, in the grasslands, or in the whatever those are, the wheat. Yeah, that's grass. That's, I just call it grasslands, or grass. I need an egg. I'm going to take an egg from this person. Snowy egret in the 1880s. Although I don't, I don't know why I did this. Oh, because I want to draw birds. Worth their weight in gold. Mm -hmm. How do I do that? Uh, you'll have to do that on your next turn. Understood. Act 
activate this habitat by clicking this, then all your birds with ground powers in this habitat will activate. Okay, choose two cards. Got it. Lay one egg on this bird. I like that because I want eggs. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I also it also need... costs three wheat, so it's going to take a minute for you to get to there. Oh, yikes. Do I have anything that can help me get wheat? Uh, you've got three birds up in your tree habitat, so that can hopefully help you get some wheat quick. All right. I'm going to go back to the... I'm going to go back up here and try to get some wheat. What is the dice outside bird? Oh, so you're so you're, you're still playing your your wetland habitat right now. You have, you'll have to get food next turn. Okay. So right now you're fin you've activated the wetland habitat. You have to go through all these powers. Then it'll be the next player's turn, and then it'll come back to you. One egg to draw two. Do I have to? You don't have to. No, you can. Um, I can't. You can hit this the, the button down on the right, the, the bottom it. right, to skip if you want. I'll take all the cards. Now it's his turn. I'm beginning to I'm beginning to catch on a little bit, but not really. Mm -hmm. When another player's gain one from the bird feeder, so I did. Yep. So one, one of their predatory powers succeeded. So now you get to choose a food, right, and you take a one of those. Yep. All right. I want to start this turn, and I want to do these. I need two eggs to gain food. I don't have that. No, you don't need two eggs. To you only need two eggs if you want to lay in a uh, cart or play a bird there. Okay, so how do I just keep going? How do I just, just click? You click on that, that white square that's uh, highlighted right now. Okay. So if um, you click there, you'll be able to draw food. Let's see. I want this. I want another wheat. Mm hmm. Oh, you can still take food. Hang on. If you skip it, oh, I don't want to skip it. Yeah, you uh, don't want to skip that. I guess I'll just take another bug. Oh, no, wait. I have a, I have a red shouldered hawk that needs the mouse. All right. Gain one for the bird feeder if available. Reroll it. Take it. Take it. And take it. Or cash it, whatever. Okay, so how many? I have four now, so I should be able to lay my bird, but it's not my turn. Yes, you'll definitely be able to play that, uh, the Bob White, I think it is. And I want to do that in the grasslands. Grasslands is the only place it can be played. Grasslands. Oh, hey, you got another food item. Oh, cool. Uh, let's see. Do I need anything? That'd be nice. I could play the. Well, but that's not going to help me this round. You could do the kinglet, and then that would let you play your uh, red-shouldered hawk as well. You would just need to make okay. sure you have the eggs. This one is the most important one. Yeah. This is the one I want. So I guess I'll just take a worm. Yeah, worm is pretty common. Worm and wheat are probably the most common foods that you'll run into. Start my turn. All right. First things first, I'm laying the... No! No! I'm laying the bob white. Eggs. Uh, you, oh yeah, you need to you need to get eggs. So play eggs this turn. Another round. What kind of birds yeah, that's lay the eggs? Part. Uh, well, I want them all on these because that's yep. Points. Tuck a card from hand. Do I have yeah. To? So if there's a card in your hand that you don't you don't want to play, you can put it behind that card for uh, for points later in the game. All right, I don't really need this one. The pair of Use another card instead. Well, I want this one. But I don't have... Oh, maybe I do. I might have enough for that. All right. Probably not. I don't know if I have enough eggs. You might not get to it this round, but I it will definitely help you in the last. Okay. Well, there you go. You can get another worm right now, and then you can cement that you have enough. All right. So first thing... Oh, I'm not going to have enough rounds to get any eggs. Am I? Just lay eggs. Just lay eggs this time, and then you'll have five in this in this row. And that'll be enough. So if you go up in the top and click the right. the end of round goals real quick, you can see how you're doing compared to the fox. We're tied. We're neck and neck. Okay. So then lay eggs this turn. You'll be able to put down two more. And unless the fox is able to do that, which you can click on the red fox icon at the top and see how they're doing. Right. Look at his thingy. Yeah. And then just put it wherever there aren't any more end of round goals that you need to worry about. I don't know if I want to take a card. You don't have to. I'm not going to. Just keep it. Oh man, this game is a lot. I'm very glad that I didn't play this last week. <laughs> there is literally no way my brain would have been able to handle this. Yes! 
The winner is me. You did it. All right. So now the last round is just birds. Yep, that's however many bird cards you have, which I think you are currently in the lead, so just keep keep going. You've got I'm, six I'm eggs, so you can I'm about to rock this thing right here. Can I lay more than one bird? You can't. Well, you can if you play the, uh, instead of the Bob White, if you go down. And uh, if you were to go up in the trees and play your, your Ruby Crowned Kinglet, then you can also play your Red Shouldered um, Falcon, or Hawk, rather. In that same area? Yep. I'll try it. Yeah, you've got enough food and eggs to do that. Okay. So I play this play one. Kinglet first. Yep. Click on any bird. Take one of his eggs, because I don't need eggs anymore. Oh, wait. No, I need two to do eggs. Ruby okay. crown kinglet. Kinglet's ruby red crown play feathers a second pop bird when they are agitated. Pay its normal cost. Mm -hmm. So okay. then you'll click on your red-shouldered hawk. You've got the food, and you'll have to pick two more eggs. Red-shouldered hawk. These hawks hunt from a perch, swooping down when prey is Rainy. nearby. Now it's his turn. Another turn. Gain, gain some food. I have plenty of worms. I don't have. Oh no, I have plenty of wheat too. Another worm. All right, next turn. He's laid eggs. I still need to lay more birds. And I can lay both of these birds in this area if I had enough stuff, but I don't. Yes, I do. You've got enough for. Yeah, you could lay either one of those right now if you wanted. Oh, but I can't do both. You can't. You can't do both because you don't have a card that says uh, play another bird this uh, turn. Bob White was the one that I worked so hard on last time. <laughs> Northern Bob White. Bob I need two White's eggs next round, though. Readers, but their numbers are in decline. I'm not going to have enough eggs next round. Oh, you, you'll you just get eggs, and you'll be good. You'll be good for a while with all that stuff you have. So you can take worms, or you can re-roll and take whatever. I'll go with egg, the worms. That's all I really need. So remember, on this turn, when you lay eggs, you can also get rid of one of your worms to get an extra egg if you want. Okay. You just have to click that icon on the bottom this for the one? food to egg. Yep. I get rid of a worm, get an extra egg. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Tuck a card from your hand. I don't need to. I don't need to. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh my goodness. In a weird way, this game reminds me just the slightest bit of Mario Party. Is that weird? Just the slightest bit. <laughs> not a lot, but in yeah. a weird way of like, I'm not even sure where this is going to end. Cassin's and I feel like I feel like there's going to be so many yeah. different places Cassin's that points are coming from that it's like, who knows? Yeah, you'll see birds. that at the end. Who knows who's, who's the superstar? Oh, I totally forgot that I can tuck cards and get points or whatever. All right, this is my last turn. I have no more birds unless I go draw them, but if I draw them, then I'm right. not going to be able but to lay another dr bird. So yeah, I'm just, yeah I'm if done. you draw them, you won't be able to do anything. So the best thing to do in this instance is to um, go up and lay eggs. So I just have more eggs. Yep, because every egg you have at the end of the game is an extra point. Oh, wait. No, don't skip it. Tuck a card. Don't need to. Yeah! 11 birds! So many birds. And now comes the Mario Party portion. This is game. totally Mario Party. So the card worth, you won handily. Bonus cards, you won handily. End of round goals, you clearly won handily. Ooh, eggs. eggs was a close one. I'm the winner. There you go. I am the greatest player there's ever been i'm right. impressed <laughs> <laughs> i am the best wingspan player there's ever been all right now what do i need to do do i play right, so if we, or do i go online uh if you want to play with computer you can do that um or you can go online and then you and i can play together and anybody else in chat if they have the game and want to join i don't know if anybody else in the chat has the game which is apparently going to recommend to his brother but that's all that i know so far Fair enough. Well, let's let's play together. Why not? Okay. So let's see. If you click on online, it'll have you uh, uh, come up with a name if you haven't already. Now you close the game. Uh, 
I don't I don't need asynchronous gaming right now. NPN is unavailable. Nerd Bastard Nate. I was about to say there's no way that name's not available. It always is. Purple, obviously. <laughs> um I kinda like uh I kinda like <laughs> Louie from B Stars here. I'm gonna be Louie. And I want this nice background. Alright. Five All right. minutes per turn. I guess that's not that long actually. How do I find you now? Well, I'm trying to find you real quick, but let's see if it's I'm a purple deer named Nerdbaster Nate. Finish a game successfully, you gain one karma point. If you're the first player to time out or forfeit, you lose five points as punishment. That is quite punishing. You'll be matched with players of similar karma levels. All right, see if you can find me. Uh, my name is Zando Calrissian. Well, I do go to custom game or real time. Uh, go to custom game. Uh, how do I invite you? If you click on the uh, the no sign right next to on the right underneath that, invite a player. Go. What's your name on it, Zando? Yep, Zando Calrissian. Is it caps like in your Discord? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Capital X, capital C. All right. See if it invited you. Here we are. A duck. Does it matter order or goal mat or anything like that? Uh, nope. If you you can either have it go in the order as you see it now, or you can have it do a random order. All right. So it's given me the option to pick my cards. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, how do you pick your cards? Oh, it's your turn. I was yeah. like, I was like, You'll I'm not seeing this, and I was about to panic. So there's a lot of downtime. I got time now. I feel like I got yeah, all the time in the world. You can check chat. You can do all kinds of stuff. Anything you can imagine you can do. I think all the chat is asleep. Oh. I mean, this music is, uh, is pretty <laughs> soothing, so I don't blame them. I think they're all zonked out. All is right. anybody now still out there? Weesh, Perspectus. And Stain Glass is driving. All right. Eight turns left. Click the start turn. Hey, Weish is here and Perispectus is zinned out. Perispectus is currently meditating. Choose five things to keep among bird cards and food. Fascinating. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, let's see. First round, I want eggs on birds with a specific nest type. Okay, so yeah, I definitely want those tiles. Um, it's also wise if, uh, if you see down above the food choices, the two green cards, if you click that, you can see what your bonus would be, and then you can pick your cards accordingly. Birds that eat only worms or birds with a death tower. Either one of those is good. Do I have to pick it now? Yeah. Um, I guess this one has a higher percentage. So I'm going to go with death birds this round. Unfortunately, none of these are death birds. Okay, so okay, okay. Keep an eye out for that as you go. Um, I want to be able to go ahead and summon him pretty much immediately. Summon. <laughs> not the game. I think that's what you do. You this just is draw, not the draw summon your game. Circles on the ground. <laughs> All right, play another bird in the same habitat based on what cost. That's a nice one to have later on down the line. Um, I don't, even though I don't have any in its habitat yet. Um, we're gonna get Cassin's Sparrow later. Sure. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're having fun. We're having fun. We're playing the feud. Just chilling, says Bleach. Perspectus working and lurking. I'm super excited, you guys. I cannot even begin to express how excited I am for Inscription tomorrow. It's pretty much all I can think about. Ever since I've stopped playing that game, I've been thinking about that game. Your turn. All right. And there's no there's no competitive disadvantage that you have because I can, you know, I'm watching the stream and can see your cards. I'm just trying to teach you. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I'm used yeah. to after inscription yesterday, I'm used to people being able to see my cards. Scaled quail. He saw every quail card chicks that I can get up and follow their parents as soon as they hatch. All right. Your turn. I need to look at what cards are in my Oh, nope. Cards are in here. All right. No death birds. Do you have a, any of these, any of these? Which could be helpful. 
So the Chimney Swift's power says if the bird is to the right of all the other birds in the habitat, move it to another habitat. That's helpful if you ever want to kind of like pad out uh, a thing. Like so, if you start it with it in your trees and then you play trees, once you get your food, it'll say, do you want to move this card? And you can, so long as it's all the way to the right. Mm. It's a little bit tricky to get used to, but it can be uh, pretty sneaky later on in the game once you, uh, if you have enough of them and if you know how to move them around. Oh man, but I, w- I feel like there's a lot of worry about that right now. there's a lot of thought here. There's a lot of thought going into this. I need a... So another thing that they don't tell you in the tutorial that's helpful to know is that <clears throat> the more that you can kind of switch up the type of things that you're getting in your habitat. So example, for example, in grasslands, if you can get cards, that you can for, sorry, if you can play cards in the grasslands that get you food or help you draw cards, that's going to be immensely helpful because it's like you're taking multiple turns in one turn. Right. So try to think about that as your. That's kind of why I don't want to play this one. Is because. Yeah, because that one you technically don't have a power, but it does give you a leg up on the fact that you would have an extra bird. Right. Well, and the reason I want to play it is that I want um, food. Mm-hmm. But I guess I don't have to play a bird to get food. Yeah, you can get one one food even if you don't have a bird up there. But I need eggs in these little nests, so I need a worm and I need a wheat. Need a worm and I need a wheat no matter what. Alright, so I need to do that. Need a worm, need a wheat. Yes. Okay. Oh, I wish I could get two in one round though. I can't. Alright. I just have to do the slow game here. Need a worm, need a wheat. So we're gonna take a worm. We're gonna call that one. Here's right. All I know is there's a lot going on here. You're not wrong. It's beginning to come together. I'm beginning to understand. As you're like taking your turn, I'm able to like actually peruse what everything does. Mm-hmm. Begin to understand a bit more about it. Um, if you want to click on my site and go to my grasslands, I can show you what I'm doing real quick. So okay. my turn, I'm pl- I'm gonna take eggs. And so this uh, American Crow, I can discard an egg to pick any food I want from the supply without rolling the dice. So I took my turn to lay the eggs on my Carolina Wren. And then I'm going to discard an egg from my Carolina Wren so I can draw food. So in in this turn, I'm gaining eggs and food. This should be your turn now. My turn. I have food. I don't have enough food yet. I still need one more one more go to get the food that I need. So I guess I just draw food. This feels like such a waste. But I need I need my birds. I need my birds. Alright. So I already have Do you a have worm. anything in your wetlands? No, I have a weed. I do, but I need food. My wetland bird is uh, lay an egg on this bird if activated, which would be helpful eventually, but not until after I get this thing. Oh, that's your that's your grassland. I'm oh, wetland. No, I don't have anything in the wetland yet. Say because it could all you could also try to look and see if there's any cards down there that would be helpful. Yeah, they aren't yet. Yeah, quite yet. I don't know. The food is where I'm I'm having trouble figuring out how to get food. Mm-hmm. About to get, I'm about to get a bunch of eggs though, so I think I'm I'm doing well with this category, even if I'm not doing necessarily as well as you are. Uh, I don't have any birds with that nest type right now, so oh, as perfect. long as you have an egg, you're, you've got a leg up on me. Well, I'm definitely gonna have an egg. Oh, I don't have enough eggs. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, yes, I need one egg. All right, all right, all right. This is fine. Um, ooh, and I can change food. No, I don't need that because I don't need enough food. Like one egg on current bird. Done. Nice. Doing great this round. Select food down for all birds with a specific nest type that have at least one egg. Okay. I think round one is mine, but we're gonna see. I think I'm I think I'm doing too much for round one. I think I'm overbearing in round one. Not considering the future rounds. That's where I'm at. Alright, four turns left. Not a lot of 
turns. So what I would I would uh, suggest now that you know you've got this round already, just call it a day. If you can start setting it for next round, yes. That's uh, always a thing to take a look at because, like I said, I don't have any birds. I just drew a card, a wild bird. <laughs> So, if I, never mind, I think I understand, let's put two and two together here, right. I'm going to go to the wetlands, I'm going to draw a bird, I get one card, I could technically do none of them, but you but can I, also draw one from the deck, say, so you don't have to take it for the biscuit, three. go for the other one, mm -hmm. since I have the time. take two turns to get any of these and I can only get the snowy egret really. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the rando. The red winged blackbird. Tuck a card behind from your hand behind this bird if you do. Also lay one egg on this bird. Okay. Your turn. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted, but that's fine. It's it's better than nothing. Okay. I'm going to need food to lay anything. Mm -hmm. I really wanted another forest bird. Yeah, the game gets you like that sometimes. Like my 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 kinglet is I could have laid it down for a dozen turns now. But, but I don't want to because then I, its power is useless. Right. Is this? Uh, this is our last turn for this round. I still have one more turn, or this is your current last turn? I, this is my current last turn, and then you'll have a turn Got after it. this, and then it'll be the end of the round. What is the purple thing at the very, very top? Oh, that just shows... Uh, so that keeps track of what you've done in each turn. So the purple means you've played a bird, and you've got two little diamonds next to that. That shows you how many birds you've played this round. Same with your... You've uh, you've gotten food three times in this round, you've gotten eggs once, and you've drawn cards once. So it helps you keep track of what you've done on your turns. Interesting. In the physical game, you, you actually keep track of the cubes, and you use those to mark who won the end-of-round goals and stuff like that. Okay. So I've got this round because I have two eggs on a nesting bird, and you have none. So I'm good with this uh, round. So okay. I will tell you, if you click on that, if you click on the top, the, the top right, you'll see that I have, two point, I have two eggs on a wild bird, so we are tied currently. Oh, well, then I can do this. Oh, I see. So what it'll do in, a, in the event of a tie, since fourth place is first and second place is first, it'll add it together and then divide it between. So we would both get two points at the end of this round. Or if you laid eggs real quick and just yeah, took the round away, you would get four points and I would get one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
You I'm don't about want to have share so your many points. eggs. <laughs> I got more eggs than I know what to do with. That's a ludicrous amount of eggs that I got now. It sure is. Wait, it's my turn again? So I start it's this. It's your now. turn now. Yeah, so every every round it shifts the uh, shifts these first player. Alright, now I have some new birds. I do finally have something for the forest. That's fine. It takes two wheat though. I don't have that yet. Uh, yeah. It's also neat as you kind of get going to add computer players. Like my wife and I always play with, with three computer players because they'll Red do things that will also in, uh, affect what you're doing. There are some cards that'll be like, everybody gets this thing. Interesting. Or, you know, everybody gets a food or something like that. And so it's, it helps you build your world a little bit faster if you have that going. I gotta figure out how to get a bunch of eggs. I need two wheats. If I can get two wheats next round, I can't possibly do that. That's literally impossible. It's not true. I could. It'd be the same thing. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. Okay, got it. Got it. I'm interested. I'm finding the path. I'm figuring things out. You're doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. All right. Right? <laughs> I thought I was doing it, but now I'm confused all over again. All right, hang on. So I'd have to get this one in another round. So that would take a round. I could have two cards next round. So in order to play that Pine Siskin, you'd have to play get a, a play a turn to get the card, right? Then a play a turn to get a turn or two to get the food, right? And then a turn to play it. Uh, how many turns does this round have? You have six turns left. Six turns left. Yeah. I could probably do that, but that's like all I can do. Mm -hmm. Or I can like this, and then the next round I'd be able to get two wheat. So that would take. Assuming this the round, in the bird feeder. Right, right, right. This round, then that round, then a round to get the bird, then a round to play the bird. That'd be four rounds right then and there. Or I just get the bird right now and figure it out from there. I would say get the bird now so that when you play your ruby, king, uh, ruby crowned kinglet, you get to use the bonus. Plus, I get one, I get one egg on this bird, which is one step closer to my goal. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give up an egg. To get another card. This bird is fine. I just need that many eggs. Okay. And then I'm gonna take. Uh, hmm. Risk it for another. Uh, I I'm thinking I'm gonna play this one so that I can have another round for this bad boy, for the blue, for round three. All right. Because he only costs one. Yeah. Tuck a card. No, I just, I worked so hard to get these. Can I tuck my Falconer card? I mean, that's not no. effective at all. Unfortunately, you cannot. That's that's uh, that's set off to the side. Okay. I'm not about to tuck after I've worked so hard. Just to get all these friends. Oh, but then I didn't get the egg. Ah! Oh! oh, so what I should have done was get took something I didn't want and then tucked it. Ah! Mm. Bummer. All right. I don't have enough wheat. So now we're back to the same problem from before. a real predicament we found ourselves in. This is quite the predicament. There is a little bit of uh, Catan elements there, Perspectus. You're not wrong. Sounds so much like it, yeah. This Catan meets Mario Party. Okay. Alright. <sighs> 
All right. I don't know if this is the right choice, but this is the one I'm making. I'm going to run. It. I'm going to throw some things away. Best way to away. learn. I'm going to throw some things away. So what do I not need? Get that greater running? Roadrunner the heck out of here. I don't think I need the Roadrunner or, or this one. Not really, anyway. So you've got you've got six eggs in your habitats already. What's the concern with eggs right now? No concern. I'm getting rid okay. of eggs. Okay. I'm definitely drawing two cards. The question is which two cards. I'm going to get rid of both of them probably. Okay. Um, I'm going to tuck one of them right now. I'm going to tuck the red runner. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's that round. Next round. I'm afraid the kinglet is probably going to get wasted. I'm afraid the kinglet's power is not going to be used. I just can't continue tolerating it. I need to pay attention to how many turns. Four turns. Four turns left. I gotta make more water. Gotta make more water. Four turns left, Ruby Throated Hummingbird. Each player gains one disc from the bird feeder starting with the player of your choice. Did I do that? Yeah. No, I played the I've played that bird and then uh you got the benefit of it. So every time I play that bird, you'll get food. Nice. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even take the wheat because I knew you owned it. We're friends. <laughs> oh, it's still your turn. Got it. Yeah. You just got to jump in that time uh, because it was a thing that was happening right then. Now it is your turn. <sighs> I got so excited. Okay, four turns left. All right. All right. So this round, I'm afraid to say I'm playing the stupid kinglet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa. You've got um, you've got one wheat now. One wheat. You can you can draw so you can draw food this turn. Reroll that it. mouse and hopefully get a wheat, and then next turn you'll be you should be able to play both of them. Gotcha. Or you can play the the kinglet now if you want. No, you're so right. It doesn't you. make sense. Reroll. Take the wheat. Yeah. got your plan all figured out over here uh not quite i just know i mean i don't have a a um an engine that's running very well yet i just kind of know what all the cards do and what i want to do just from playing this game for almost a year now okay. i'm gonna play the kinglet for the berries yes and then i'm gonna play the no i'm gonna play the, the siskin for the wheat on a bird from any habitat to spend an egg. This bird's egg. Pine siskin. Pine siskin. Okay. Are now I have one more. No, I have two more turns to, to get eggs on all the needed, all the needed birds. Or I could technically not get that yet. Ooh. This music is definitely like solemn moment of the between the protagonist and the love interest in an anime 100 <laughs> percent. yeah the soundtrack is a whopping i think five songs that just play on repeat i'm about to lay so many eggs you're not even gonna know what happened i'm gonna know what happened again There's so many eggs so it doesn't matter how many eggs though are on the are on the bowls. Right. Yeah. For this round, it's just a a bird that has that type of nest with a, with an egg on it. That's how many points you get. So many eggs. All right. Next, I need birds and wetlands, which I currently only have one. So 
So you could potentially, if you like really went ham, you could like dominate an area. Like you could have a maxed out wetlands and be drawing three cards at a time and a potential fourth card. And, and any other cards that you have, like there are some cards you can lay, like there's one called the Ruddy Duck, I think. It lets you draw two cards and discard one. So you could be drawing upwards of like five to seven cards in a turn. Insane. If you max it out like that. Yeah, if you max it out, if you have the luck to have it all show up in the... Um... Well, and even then it's probably a dangerous game. Yeah. But that might not be... Yeah, so not always the best idea to, pardon the pun, have all your eggs in one basket. Much to Bleach's pleasure, I've been making Russian tea. I have some Russian mm -hmm. tea currently brewing here. This is a delight. One turn left. Our turn. All right. So I need to worry about my wetlands. So I'm going to take... Should I draw cards? It would be nice to have that other bird. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. And draw a rando. No! Oh, well. Uh, tuck a card. Any card? You can tuck your painted bunting that you just got. Yeah, it's got too much. It's got way too much requirements on it. And I don't need the bowls anymore. Right, because this is last round. Mm hmm Okay. We'll see. Well, I was going to lay a card, or uh, play a card, but that brown-headed cowbird is too good to pass up. Oh, I see. Would what you have been able to catch up? You've been doing. What's that? Would you have been able to catch up if you'd laid that, laid that card? No, I would have had to lay it and then have an extra turn to... Lay an egg. Um, yeah. Okay. Now it's your turn first. This time I need wetland birds. I only have... Oh, I could get a stork. Oh, man, look at all those. Wowzers. mouse, a worm, and either a worm or a fish. Want a blank from your hand? If you do, gain one point. Well, I need food. A bird, a bird, a worm, or no, a mouse, a worm, and then either a worm or a fish. Mouse, a worm, worm, or a fish. Okay. Mouse. from the hand, and then I get another wheat, which isn't really helpful right now, but it's fine. Uh, oh, I do need that one. I don't need this one. That's a wetland bird. Oh, dig no, sorry. I'm forgetting that I'm, I'm a second behind you. <laughs> You're all good. Okay, one for this point. Got it. Got it. Oh, man. This is interestingly competitive. For such, like, calm music in the background, I'm, like, into it. I'm like I'm I'm ten moves ahead. It feels very like chess like. It's chess, Mario Party, and Catan. Which is what every game designer wants to hear is what their game is like. <laughs> Alright, five turns left. Um, technically have enough. When another okay, hang on. When another player takes the gain food action. If they gain any number of mice, they also gain one mice from the supply and cash it on this card. You get to gain the, the mouse. Oh, so when you Definitely. get a mouse, I get a mouse. Yes. Okay, this one on the other but hand. But it's, it's cashed on the card, so that's a, an extra point for you at the end of the game. Draw one card. If you do, discard one card from your hand at the end of your turn. Uh, that's not that helpful. Uh, I guess I'll do this one first, because that'd be nice, especially if you have any mice. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how many games it's like at the end of the night. We'll <laughs> <laughs> it's like Mario Party meets Catan, meets Chess, meets Chinese Checkers, meets Domino, meets Candyland, meets Risk, meets... Yeah, keep going. Uh, I like... Uh, what do I do? It doesn't really matter at this point, does it? Sure. Click on a bird when you have 
habitat. <laughs> Loggerhead shrike. The next is birds in the forest. On thorns or okay, so I can be preparing for next round. Save them for just later. in case I lose this round. I find it very interesting that we all draw from the same pool. Alright, back over to you. Right. First thing I need to check is if you took anything. Guess I'm gonna draw the birds. Oh, the mallard. Yeah, it's not any points, but I think it's got some good actions. Draw one card. Uh, tuck a card. Any card? I don't need to. This round. Okay. Piecing it together, so the mallard can actually be delayed next round. Yeah, tomorrow whenever I post the VOD, this that'll for, for, for sure be the title. It'll be Wingspan is just like this game, like this game, like this game, like this game. <laughs> game. I had a new experience today where I got accused of clickbait. Oh, Over yeah. We're on our Rethink Church article. I, I posted about Platinum End. And I do clickbait a lot, but this one wasn't clickbait. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> accused me of clickbait, but the truth was was they didn't read the article. Each player gains one dice from Burger. Well, I could re-roll, which I will. Uh, none of these are helpful. No, they are. Worms. Wow. Hope you need worms. <laughs> I do, in fact. But I also need wheat, which is even better. That was kind of the perfect round for me, honestly. How many turns do we have left? Three? Perfect. We have, uh, yeah, you have three. Beautiful. You set me up, Zando. You set me up for a delightful thing. It's almost like I want you to like this game or something. I like it. It's fun. <laughs> it's, uh, who boy, they need to work on that tutorial. Oh no! Wait, I, I gain a. Oh, if I tuck, but I don't. I can't. I can't. I can't. All right. We're just gonna do. All I need right now is worm for sure. And then I'll get started with the wheat. Right? Because I don't have one more. Oh no, that's enough. That's enough. Yes. Tuck a card. However, it was one of our best performing articles this quarter, so props. We loved it. Yeah, it was super fun. I, I enjoyed it as well. It was a fun one to write. It was fun to write about Platinum End, which is an anime that's not doing very well. Oh, I forgot I can't lay two in the same turn. Ah, oh, bummer. That's fine. Two turns left. All right. So I can have two more birds, so I guess I just need to do that. It definitely has been performing well, and it's gotten a ton of comments. A ton of good comments and a ton of comments that definitely didn't read the article as well. It's gotten a little of both. A little column A, a little column B. Are we going to tie? Do you have another wetlands bird? I do, but I can't play it because I don't have any food. Yes. Feels good, yeah. 
I'm not convinced that Xando is not going to Mario Party move by the end. And like, I've just been cashing all these cards this entire time. Oh, I forgot I can move a card. So yeah, I do have. Uh, I, I am going to tie it. No! No! My plan. I forgot I can move that card. That's great. I've worked so hard. Click on any bird. <laughs> Black turn. These turns build floating nests well, out of At least we tied. Alright, so now we have the forest. Which I already have one. You wanna see something neat? Click on my my uh board real quick. What are you about to do? Be my two birds in the in the wetlands that got me tied for you. Oh, move it to another habitat. I can move both of those up to the, the grass. So you're right. starting with, with another bonus, too, right from the get-go. Mm -hmm. And then whatever you have in your hands. Mm -hmm. So you'll have three right right away. Pretty sneaky, sis. Been planning. I actually wasn't planning. It just, <laughs> just worked out. It just worked out. <laughs> Ooh, the kill deer. The Killdeer and Franklin's Gull are, are two of the best cards in the game. Because you can put it in your grasslands and then just constantly get eggs and then use one of your eggs to draw also draw cards. And then you just have to worry about food every once in a while. But in the last round, it doesn't really help. It's one, it's one of those cards you want to get at the beginning of the game. This song is... Almost Legend of Zelda. I mean, it's so close. It's like almost like a tease. Yeah, boys. I was I was happy with that article. I'm happy. I'm really happy with the next one too. I sent it to Ryan um, today. I think it's gonna be another good one. Hopefully, I don't know if it'll take off. It's not quite as controversial, but I don't know. I have I sent him some alternate titles as well that are a little bit more controversial. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, is it my turn? Oh man, I yes. didn't even notice. No, uh, that's all right. Like a bird, spin an egg. Oh, just one red crossbill. These Next birds yeah, just one. use their specialized bills to pry apart conifer seed cones. Okay, so I need two eggs next time. I already have those. I have this guy who will give me either one. I need to draw him though. Not a lot of rounds. Not a lot of rounds. I have my plan. I've formulated my plan. I have my plan, and I'm about to fill up my hand with a bunch of cards. Actually, not really. Just five cards. cards left. I can choose three. I'm going to definitely choose this one. Um, I'm going to choose one rando. Oh, I could choose a bunch. I could choose, oh, I could choose as many randos as I want. Well, why wouldn't I, right? Yeah. Yeah, why wouldn't I? All right, next one. This one I, I can draw, but I have to discard. Risk it for the biscuit. Oh, I'm doing, I'm getting everything I need. Except for food. Card. Yeah, go for it. Nice one I can throw away. Finally. Tuck a card. I'll tuck this one. Yeah. You're gonna throw away a purple card? I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't have the I don't have the That's, food. A, the, the name of the bird is a purple gallinule. No, I don't have so. tuck it. It's not it's not throwing it away. With our uh, 
Discard preference one. for the purple color. Just a little surprise, didn't you? Oh, but I don't know if I want to help you out with that one. I guess this one because it's the only one that takes two. Kinglet really set me back a couple rounds right from the get-go. A little bit. And I was so confident. Three rounds left. Aw, oh, man. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the thing. I don't know if the thing's gonna work. I'll be able to get five cards, but I don't know if I'll be able to do anything else. Yeah. I'll be able to get five cards on the, on the deck. So I guess that's what I'll do. Oh no, two turns? Two turns left after this one. Yeah. You can lead. Tuck a card. I could tuck a card. If you do, get another wheat. Do wheat count? Do wheat count towards score? No, food doesn't count. Uh, the only thing that food does is if we are tied on everything else, the amount of food that you have is a tiebreaker. Okay. But very. That. I've. I don't think I've ever had a game end in a tie that would need. Food Ooh, but tucking favorite. cards, tucked cards do count. Is tucks the same as cash? Do, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, if you um, if you click on the top left or the, rather the top right, the uh, end of game goals, and you look at the bottom, it'll tell you everything that you get points for. Okay. I think I'm following. All right. I know my next two turns. I'm just gonna lay cards. That's all I got. That's all I can do. I'm gonna max out. I'm at least gonna get to five cards, but that's it. You are not at five cards. You are at one card. Mm-hmm. Why? Why are you doing this? Are you going to wait for the last round? What's up, uh, Jane the Pain? Maybe. Welcome. Coming in late. Well, I had every intention. If I had one more round, I was going to do another big egg round. But that's not going to happen. Yeah, Action I'm really not going to have a lot of eggs. To display, males of this species will fly up to 30 miles and then dive, reaching speeds near 100 kilometers an hour. What, you can have more than five? N uh, no. Okay. Not You can't have more than five in one, um, in one habitat, but you could, there are other things where it's like, Again, eggs in, in in the piles. Like the first round, you could have more than five. Mm -hmm. Bummer that I'm not gonna have many eggs, but I will have the maximum amount of grass. So I win the I win the card for me. In my heart, I win. Dane's making jokes down there. This is um. Although <laughs> it's been a rough night, Dane. <laughs> it's been a rough night. So your joke would probably have been funnier had we not had the kerfuffle with a troll at the very beginning of the stream. <laughs> Let's just say we've had to ban new words. But welcome. Right. Right. I'm just gonna spin two eggs. Oh no. <laughs> but you're all good. We're glad you're here, Dave. Nutcatcher's breeding range is steadily right. shifting north with climate change. It's done. Change. I've done it. Got a dip. Keep it on lock. Ping on Discord if you need anything. All good, boys. Thanks for hanging around. Thanks for hanging around. Be sure to let your brother know about Wingspan. So that Zando will have more to play with. More people to play with. So you're about to cinch it up in this round, correct? 
Uh, I don't know that I'm going to. You're going to choose not to? Well, I've got my one of my cards is to um, one of my bonus cards, I should say, is to have the least amount of birds. I get two points for the least amount of birds I have in a habitat. So if I can even my birds out, I'll get more points that way. Yeah, I was supposed to have the, the killing birds, and I haven't seen a single one. I have one. I haven't seen a single one. 13% of cards. I clearly haven't drawn enough cards. You get a food. Zero turns left. Take a food. Well, I won all the rounds, so that makes me feel like I'm winning. You tied one of them. That's true. That's all right. True. Third round. All right, Mario Party. Let's see how we did. Yeah, for real. This music I is super cozy. Have a great game. All right, so birds, we were pretty equal. Wow. It's. Oh, that was really close there for a second. Oh, the two man. Point two points. That's a close game. Yeah. That is a censure. So the end of round, the birds do way more for you than the end of round. I guess not, though. I mean, that's a big, that's a big chunk of mine. Mm hmm Bonus cards. The bonus cards was the biggest boost there. Interesting. Yeah, you as the more you play, you'll see different uh, ways that you can maximize your score at the end. And my wife got obsessed with it, and she's she has usually between like 90 and 100 some odd points i think that was that was a pretty good first round <laughs> yeah not bad i think i was picking up on it more towards the end i feel like if i had if i had started the round over i already know all the things i would have done differently mm -hmm. and that's called growth yep that's called learning we love learning here and so it's always always fun to just go into play and just set up computer players and just experiment with different uh, different strategies and see how you do i'm very curious about the fact that it's on switch yeah i just bought it on switch uh for the flight on friday so because i knew my wife would want to do something while we're flying yeah that's super interesting i've been fascinated by the um by the board games that have been making ports mm -hmm. we have tons of them i i, I bought the uh whatchamacallit the not board game simulator but basically board games. Tabletop simulator. Tabletop simulator. So there's all that kind of stuff. They're just coming out with more and more things. Mm -hmm. One of these days. That would be the stuff Ooh. that I would love to do. Invest Steam's more. Steam's in letting me know that the uh, the European expansion is coming. That's exciting. Yeah, Getting I saw there was like a Ho Ho Holidays something. Yeah, there's the holiday background, and they just today apparently announced that the European expansion. My wife is going to be very happy about that. So I got the, her one complaint now that we have like the physical version with all the different expansions her one complaint about the digital one is that there's not enough cards there's if there's not enough to keep it interesting ah. but adding the european expansion is very exciting let's see i got three achievements finish my first game play two birds in one turn and do the tutorial that's it there's a lot of like random achievements in here yeah, there's some really goofy achievements with some very punny uh, names. Oh, yeah. All the names are, are excellent. Money for yeah, nothing. With my for free well. wife being obsessed with this game, I just started going for the achievements while she was focusing on getting high scores, and I ended up getting all the achievements. Very fun. And I've got like a spare exactly 16 minutes. And that's definitely not enough time for a game of Wingspan. No, not at all. It's like a good hour. It felt like a good hour, wasn't it? Mm hmm I bet if we had really taken our time, it could have gone as long as an hour and 15. Right. But definitely no shorter than, like, 45 minutes, even if you're trucking it. Yeah. With trucking it, usually the games take at least a half an hour. And that's assuming you know exactly what you want to do, and you're reading the cards and maximizing your time. I would say once you know all the cards, that's when things have got to take a good shift. Mm -mm. 
Like, I feel like I, I was spending a lot of my time just trying to figure out what even... Not even the cards. I didn't have time to pay attention to the cards. I was too busy trying to figure out what all of the different areas did. Mm -hmm. Like how you would get a certain number of cards down and then the, the next one would register or whatever. For the yeah, action. and then you start thinking about like how the birds can work together. Like the, uh, the kill deer that came up and the Chihuahuan Raven is a deadly combo if you put it in the grasslands because you're getting two food, two cards, and two eggs every, every round just from playing one, uh, just for playing one habitat. Super interesting. Yeah. Well, do you have any other short games you want to play? Or? I know, right? I'm trying to think of like, is there a game that I could queue up for exactly 16 minutes? I was actually looking at tier makers, trying to see if there was a tier maker. There's a I game only called do Rounds. Do I? That I've got on like, it's, it's called Rounds. I think it's like three or four dollars on Steam. It's just a goofy, like, real quick pace shooting game. You just like, you have a little avatar that you're jumping around on the screen. Rogue light shooter where each round gets more intense. Oh, this reminds me of um. Oh my gosh, what was the name of that game? Uh, stick fight. This super reminds I haven't me played of stick, stick fight. fight. This is very similar. Yeah, there's a bunch of random different power ups and stuff. It's pretty fun. I played. It, I've only played it for about for about an hour, but some friends of mine are really into it. I have so many games. Surely, surely there's one game. I still have Death Store installed. Aww. R.I.P. Death Store. Such a good game. I do have that game that you are requesting, Battle Block Theater. That one is still that one is oh, yeah. on the horizon. We're gonna I mean, you can start soon. it and try it out and see what you think. Well, I'll do a whole stream <laughs> of it. We'll do the whole thing. Okay. We'll do the the... The Dragon Ball's worth. I mean, you summon Shenron. We're not just going to play 30 it's minutes of a, yeah. of a game for Shenron. What happened with Death Door? I'm just sad that it's over, Perispectus. I'm happy that it happened, but I'm sad that it's over. I miss it. It's such a good game. And I don't know if I'll ever go back to it. Because I, I don't really have the interest of like the completionist thing. Oh, here we go. Let's do a fast food tier maker. That shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. All right. Let's see. <laughs> I love how Miller Lite ad on the, on the side. <laughs> oh, of course it's Miller Lite. I don't even drink lawnmower beers. No way. Go Rose. It's, it's autumn, exclusively Guinness. All right. S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier. You, you, you didn't realize that I beat it? Yeah, Perspectus, I beat it. It should all be out there. I just need to post all the backlog. I'll post them all. All right. Arby's, we have the beef. We have the meat, whichever one it is. Um, Arby's, Arby's is a solid B tier. Not a big fan, not a, not a hater either. Um, okay, so those of you that know this about me, it might be none of you, but we're going to add a new row below D tier and I'm just going to write arson in this one and my plan for Burger King is to find all the Burger Kings and burn them to the ground because they're the worst food what? that exists <laughs> hard disagree hard disagree my wife also hard disagrees and she's not had Burger King in the 10 years that we've been dating and then married because I hate nothing more than Burger King I'm so, so sorry for your wife I know I know you're Little gonna, Caesars you're going to flame broil all those whoppers no they're gone all gone <laughs> Little Caesars, um, I actually happen to enjoy Little Caesars, but not a lot. It's like the worst food for the best price. And it's so fast. It's freaky fast. And Jimmy John's is not on here, by the way. So I, I worked think at Little Caesars slander. for like two years. So you'd think I'd be sick of it. But I'm such a pizza, pizza lover that I'm even like, yeah, it's still pretty good. I'm going to put that with Arby's. I would go there as often as I would go to Arby's. Carl Jr.'s doesn't exist near me. I don't have Nor Carl here. Jr.'s anywhere near here. So, so um, burn it to the ground. Burn it to the ground with Burger King. <laughs> All right, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Here's my, my hot take on Chick-fil-A. It's that it's fine. The best thing that Chick-fil-A has is all their desserts. I love their milkshakes and I love their cookies more than anything. But pretty much everything else is fine at best. Chick-fil-A is fine and I'm not a fan of their uh, 
just their views on certain oh, things. Oh, obviously, yes, to say the least. <laughs> their waffle fries are pretty good. They're pretty all right. I'm going to I'm gonna say Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, purely by dessert alone, is going to keep on this mid-tier. I can't put them above. Chipotle, this enrages me. This fills me with rage because I, I don't know if you guys can see on the stream all the options here. Chipotle is the only, the only of the Subway-style Mexican on here, and that is a travesty because Chipotle isn't the worst. Cadoba is the worst. But compared to Moe's and Barberitos, is something we have around here. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a Barberitos. Yeah. Moe's and Barberitos. But I've had Moe's. Moe's and Barberitos absolutely kick Chipotle out the door. Absolutely. Chipotle yeah. has like three options of things that you can put on your burrito. Whereas Moe's has a, a splendiferous amount. It's it's impossible to even compare them. We Moe's is a, pretty uh, tight. Pan, a, a place called Pancheros up here, which is my favorite. Yeah. I'm going to say Chipotle is overrated. I'm going to put it on C tier. Maybe it's better. No, Chipotle's fine. And I, Cadoba, I just, I remember, what I remember about Cadoba is that their queso wasn't very good. And it sounds like Perspectus okay. also said Pancheros. So it sounds like I might need to try Pancheros. Man, Pancheros is great. It's my favorite. There's a uh, secret menu item called the Gordo, which is just a like a full pound burrito. And it's mm. awesome. I cannot believe that Moe's is not on here. Outrageous. Domino's is worse than uh, Caesar's. Don't like Domino's. I do like ever since they changed the recipe, it was it's been a pretty good, pretty good one. Panchero is better than Moe's, better than Cadoba, better than Chipotle. I'm so interested for you guys to try Barberitos. If you ever find out there's a Barberitos near you, I want to know if it's similar to Panchero's because is there one in Charlotte? There might be. I don't know. They might be a Winston Salem thing. Mm. All right, Dairy Queen, uh, S tier. Dairy Queen is heaven. Dairy Queen is pure heaven. But that only like not their food. Like don't buy their food. We should have a whole other tier that is don't buy their food, just buy desserts. All right, I'm, I think this is Five Guys, but it's a square, so all I see is EG Urins. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Five Guys. Five Guys was a delicious burger and a delicious fry, but there's not much else. And that it's in their name, to be fair, right? It's Five Guys Burgers and Fries. That's all they do. Um, but I haven't had this in a long time. So a friend of mine got married in Central Park uh, in 2010, and we were wandering around New York just not knowing where anything was. And Five Guys, it was the first time I ever had it. it was in down, it was like downtown New York, and uh, they had free refills, and it was heaven because every other place in New York will just charge you over the, it's just a hundred so much for anything. So Five Guys would get his S tier for me just based on that memory and the fact that it was across the street from the Nintendo store. Oh, that is pretty good. You were in New York City and you did Five Guys over Shake Shack. Perspectus is throwing shade. I dude, I had no idea where I was. I was just trying to find the <laughs> Nintendo store so I could get Dragon Quest Nine during the big Dragon Quest event. So. I'll give Five Guys an A, <laughs> since it's your S, and I would probably give it a B tier. I'll give it an A. We'll meet in the middle. In and out. I've also, had. It was a hundred degrees, so I needed to find something with air conditioning and free refills. <laughs> yeah, everything tastes better whenever you're dripping in sweat. I'm convinced. In and out. I've had it twice in my life, so I can't really weigh in too adequately here. Yeah, I can't either. It was pretty good. I remember being pretty good. I don't know if it was quite five guys good for me. I'm going to put it on that B tier. Sweet B tier. That's probably going to get me canceled. I'm canceled. Jack I've in the never Box. Had in and out. Never had Jack in the Box either. I've had Jack in the Box like twice. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna give it a C tier. It's definitely not as good as in and out KFC. KFC was so much better when they used to do the really good, like, crisp popcorn chicken. But now they don't do that anymore. Now their popcorn chicken is like big old chunky meaty bites. And I don't want meat. I want the crunch. I want Those just pure bowls, breading. Though. What about the famous bowl, though? The famous bowl, lots of mashed potatoes, lots of fatty foods. The Colonel is hilarious. They made a gaming console. I mean, they've they've definitely brought back the public image. But I do miss the popcorn, the popcorn chicken. I'm gonna give them a. Can B. we can we revisit Burger King for one second because they did have Sneak King. You know, did what? you ever That's play a good Sneak point. King? That's a good point. That's a good point. I'm gonna put a row above, and I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say burn maybe like everything for the but <laughs> sneak king and then i'm gonna put i'm gonna put burger king in that one and that feels fair i feel like that's that's fair but still i'm gonna put it even below carl jr's we're gonna yeah we're gonna can I move it no i still can't oh here i see i see what i can do i'm gonna move it down below that feels fair all right mcdonald's uh mcdonald's always had the best toys that's the one thing i remember about mcdonald's and that feels like a big a big up mcdonald's dessert is also pretty good as long as the uh ice cream machine is not broken and Which it invariably is anytime the sun goes down. 
Yes, invariably, every single day, or sometimes just when they decide that it's it's just broken today. I'm gonna I'm gonna say McDonald's has gotten better over the years. I'm gonna give it a solid B as well. We're sticking to that B tier pretty strong. Panda Express is pretty good. We had one on campus at Duke, and that was always nice to have like a place that was like a chain, pretty close by. Uh, it's it's the only that. Chinese contender on this list, so it feels kind of True. like cheating. I hate to uh, to delay us again to to end the defense of Burger King, but because you brought it up. Burger King was the first place to have Pokemon toys. Mm. That is true. And I do, I remember, I remember uh, going to Burger King for the toys and just not eating the food. I would just give the food to someone else because it was absolute garbage. So just, I think that means it's D tier now, right? Just no, it's staying. It's staying right here. Pokemon toys and Sneak King. Though. Yeah, we'll say slash, <laughs> slash Pokemon toys from the early aughts. Yeah, that seems fair. That feels fair. All right. Panda Express. It's a sin they list Panda Express, but not Pai Wei. Pai Wei? I don't know that one. I don't know really. I mean, all the Chinese restaurants that I've ever been to have not been chains. I don't go to chains, really. I go to just the hole in the wall that makes the best food. That's my favorite. My wife loves Panda Express's orange chicken. She swears by it. I'm going to give it I'm gonna give it an A just because it's the only Chinese on here, and that makes me feel bad. Papa John's is my favorite pizza, like in general. Really? Papa John's is like my favorite pizza. Yeah, There's even even with the here, even with the shack change, all that stuff, it's all good. It's probably my favorite. I'm gonna give it an A tier. It's definitely my best pizza, and I love the garlic butter. Mmm, that garlic butter. I could drink that garlic butter in like a like big jug. One hundred percent. Pizza Hut. I have similar memories to like Burger King with the toys and stuff. Like I remember going to Pizza Hut for like school parties and stuff. It was always the place I that go you to would Pizza go. Hut specifically for the Ninja Turtles arcade. Mm-hmm. Mm. Games totally boosted up. I'm going to put it on that B tier. Even though I don't know if their pizza is better than Domino's, their experience was definitely better. Perspectus, what's wrong? Why are you saying, oh, no? Are you saying, oh, no, to my Papa John's take? I will accept no I, slander. I believe he is. I will That's still take I no. Better ingredients, problem. better pizza. All right? Better. It's better pizza. <laughs> it's, That's uh, why it's on it's A tier. Okay pizza. It's, it's better okay. than all the others. I love me some Papa John's. I'm gonna go eat Papa John's. I'm gonna pick up a Papa John's it's, pizza on my way home tonight. I'm not gonna lie, it's a, it's, a, it's a guilty pleasure every once in a while, but it's not my go-to by any stretch of the imagination. Of the chains, it's my go-to for sure. All right, Louisiana Fast, Popeyes, uh, I've never been. We've got like them up here and there are there's one uh, not far from my house and there's because of the whole chicken sandwich war, the line is constantly out in the road and extending on the road. So I would put it down just because I'm so frustrated with the traffic around it. We're going to say a D tier, but I feel like I should give them C tier because they did start a big trend. They started a big trend because now everybody's in the chicken sandwich game. Sonic. I actually had Sonic the other day uh, for the first time in a long time. And I will tell you that I'm going to put Sonic up on A tier for one reason and one reason alone. Do you realize that you can mix nerds into your drink at Sonic? No, I didn't. I can't imagine a better experience. I cannot imagine a better experience than mixing nerds into your drink. Uh, Perspectus, the only reason Popeyes is as low as it is is because I've never eaten there. I can make a new tier if you want me to. Do you want me to make a new tier? Let's add a row below, and um, I will say I uh, never had it, but they started a chicken sandwich war so that's cool and we'll put that one right there i feel confident i feel confident about that all right subway i worked at subway for many years i am a sandwich artist and subway is fine but i've also seen how how it's made you know what i mean mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it takes it down some notches for me so what's i'll let zando you choose where would subway go on this tier because for me yeah. uh I've, i've know too much i know too much of the secret I'd probably, of all like the chain sandwich places, that's definitely not my favorite. I'd probably give it like a C. I've also not had Subway in like almost three years now. Mm. You got to try the rotisserie there's chicken. There's not one close to us. Rotisserie chicken's real good. It's also real chicken. It's like the one thing they have that's real. All right, Taco Bell, S tier, S tier. Yeah, S tier. S tier. Can you Honestly, make something above S tier? We're going to make a tier above for sure. And we're just going to say Zen. We're just going to put Zen. And that's, that's Taco Bell. That's where it belongs. I will say I'm bummed that there's no Del Taco option. Oh I yeah, there's really no there's they missed a lot of a lot of options. They missed a lot of the secondary options. Wendy's is also Zen for me, and I'm gonna have yes, to I'm Wendy's gonna have to great. stand on that pretty strong. 
And then White Castle, I've never had it. They didn't start a chicken Ugh, sandwich war, so I can't don't. put them there. You don't want it. But should we just put it on D tier? Is that going to be our one D tier? Um, or like another tier of like only if you have a hundred toilets in your house. Oh, okay. So we'll put a we'll put a tier below D that says must meet toilet quota. That feels yes. I feel good about that as well. I feel like we got a good tier list here. I feel like this is this is a strong <laughs> way. Chipotle can go with that. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Must meet a toilet quota. That feels appropriate. This is good. This is a good tier list. We've we've achieved true zen. Taco Bell and Wendy's are always the two places that we stop at. Gotcha pond. It's nine o'clock. I gotta go. All right, I'll do one gotcha pond <laughs> and then I'm and then I gotta go. I love that people just hopped out. You guys are my only viewers right now. Everybody else was like, I do not care. I do not care about this. So tonight we learned that Wingspan was probably not the best for a Wednesday night. Hey, that's all right. That's all right. We live and we learn. Now I know how to wing play Wingspan, so I officially know. Tomorrow we're going to play Inscription. You... That'll bring everybody back. Perfect. It does appear that one of the canisters has come open in the, in the machine. Yeah, and I, and I, yep. Okay, Marvel. You got to Marvel something. I'm so ready for these Marvel things to be gone. You got an eraser, but not just any eraser, Zando. You got an eraser of Mjolnir. That's incredible. That's So great. you can absolutely slam away the problems in your life and this uh, you know i don't know if you'll be able to lift it i don't know if you're worthy but clearly i was worthy so well i've got a little keychain mule right here on my desks well, and perfect I it, no problem i still have things to send you i need to send you the mule and i need to send you your sonic the hedgehog pin so i got stuff to send you all right i'm gonna hop off here and do the log out thanks for teaching me wingspan yep. playing around with me good times all right folks with that, we're gonna hop off this stream. As always, we're gonna tell you these three things we believe to be absolutely true about every single one of you, regardless whether or not you believe in God, whether or not you go to church, none of that stuff matters for these three truths. We believe that number one, God loves you. Number two, we love you. Number three, you matter. You're a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, and until the next time that I see you, have a wonderful rest of your night. Play some wingspan. The verb is the verb. Tomorrow we're playing Inscription 1 o'clock. Back on stream here. Be here. And until then, bye-bye.